Child domestic abuse or trauma victims often feel like they're alone. Nobody understands what's happening to them. But there is a place in the triad where once a year they can forget what's happened in their lives and be empowered to see hope in their futures. Fox 8 Sydney Farmer takes us there. I'm so proud of you. This is what hope looks like. For Shakarolyn, it's conquering her fears. She sees her new friends accomplishing fun things and she wants to as well. It's all part of the encouraging atmosphere at Camp Hope. I just want people to know that if you're having a hard time like at home and some stuff is going on, you should definitely come here because there's always someone that's gonna help you come like talk to you and encourage you. The week-long camp works with young people living with domestic violence and trauma by showing them they can achieve their goals and dreams. Something that makes this special here to me is like always having someone like that loves me and like someone that I can come to and like just to talk to and like friends, you know? Shakarolyn is one of many campers over the last seven years who've learned what's happened to them in the past doesn't define their future. It's a point camp director, Katherine Johnson of the Family Justice Center, drives home time and time again. What we're really trying to do is work with young people and showing them pathways and to help them achieve their goals and their dreams and to help them reset on some of the things that have happened to them, recognizing that it happened to them. They didn't do it to themselves. It's not their fault. Through horseback riding, the ropes course, and water sports, campers are not only able to escape for a while, but connect with other campers who understand them, including their counselors. It was like like a home away from home almost. It was nice to come here to camp and have such nice people and such a welcoming environment. And it was like, you know, it was nice that you had something in common with everybody. Everybody came from not really a broken home, but a bad background, you know, something that maybe they didn't want to share with other people. And it was nice to find that because it it was like you were closer, you had a closer bond because of it. Question is one of the many success stories to come out of Camp Hope. She was once one of these campers, and when she became too old to attend, she trained to become a counselor. It meant that much to her. I want to create this for, for other campers. I want to, like, make them happy, make them feel good, make them look back and be like, you know, as if they're seeing family that they see once a year and to want to help other people as well. I want to pass down the experience I had. For Katherine Johnson, it's a vision come full circle. Seven years later, to have her stand across me as a volunteer and articulate how this program changed her life is just a reason, a one big, really, reason of like this is why we do what we do and why this investment in this program really matters. Yeah. Making memories, building family, and establishing futures all born of hope. Camp Hope. We say often in Camp Hope work, my future is brighter than my past. And for these kids, it is. In Greensboro, Cindy Farmer. I love Camp Hope. Fox 8 News. And Camp Hope is a part of the Family Justice Center's youth programming. This year it's grown to 75 campers with 35 counselors and counselors and countless volunteers who make that week magical for everybody. Free for the campers to go to it, paid for with donations from community members.